this gay. <laughs> just, just keep in mind, sir, this is a family show, not a making family show. <laughs> That's right. All right, we got a, we got a couple games for you guys before you guys take off, and the first is going to be uh, uh, accent roller coaster, right? We have two games. No, 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 it's a. Uh, oh yes. Oh, that's right, sir. And you have two microphones. Yeah, you're gonna get a good one from the table. Yes, one that has light. Right, I got switched around here. Yeah, first, we're gonna do anime dubs with these two guys. Yes. Anime dubs. As our two legendary voice actors are going to voice two of you. We're gonna need two assistants from the audience. Two assistants. Let's see, Mark, do you want to choose your assistant? Choose Mark. Cosplayers? Mark wants a cosplayer. And we have some, we have some very hopeful. I, I think I, uh, you know, I just have to show brand loyalty and pick a uh, Mass Effect cosplayer in the back right there. Thank you very much, yes. Uh, the Asari so, in the back. Well, this young lady, her, with the roses in her hair. She's that is, that's the goth dad from Dream Daddy. That's the what? The, <laughs> I thought you said they were game, I believe, yes. It is indeed. It is the Daddy Dating Simulator. You said Dream Daddy, it. I thought. I read BuzzFeed. <laughs> I only know about Busby Berkeley. That is an obscure reference from the 30s. <laughs> Good time, those 30s. Uh, hello, I'm Vincent. <coughs> right, so give it a brandy. So how this game is going to work is I'm going to pass this microphone off to Mark, and he is going to voice this wonderful Asari. And then we're going to have Quinn over here voice this goth dad. And then there, there's some sort of, some sort of, some tension. There's a scene that we need to develop here together, people. What, what's this thing? They're trying to team up, this Asari and this goth dad are trying to team up to do what? Destroy the Reapers. <laughs> something along the nose? Get a date in Maybe space. Maybe more, uh... A more conventional to everyday stuff. Yeah, what do we got? Making a banana split. Making, I like making a banana split. Yeah, this is like a harrowing tale of making a banana split. All right, are you ready? terrifying. Yeah, we're just going to warm up our, our actors that we have here. And uh, we will try to, to work in a couch as well. <laughs> so making a banana split and somehow involving a couch. We'll try to involve a couch in this. Now, of course, Quentin and I are going to be doing your voices. So Anna, I will be doing your voice. So when I'm talking, just to sort of move your lips and uh, as if you were, say, a ventriloquist dummy. And you don't have to worry about exact lip sync because this is anime dub, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> So, uh, oh yeah, that, so so say let's say that I was doing Quentin's voice, and uh, let's see, what voice shall I use for Quentin? This is the voice I would use for Quentin Flynn, and as you can see, he's not exactly matching my voice, but he is moving his body and gesticulating. <laughs> he's acting, and that's what we will require you to do. Do you understand? Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now. We have to decide on the... Oh, no, no, we're not done. done. <laughs> so now we just have to decide on the voices that we're going to use for our respective characters. So, uh, Quentin, uh, what, uh, what voice would you like to use for the goth dad? How about um, Gene Wilder? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so let's uh, get a little practice for our goth dad here. You know, it's wonderful that we could be here to make ice cream and other things and not children. <laughs> but I do love Charlie so much. Oh my God, you put a brain, an abnormal brain in a seven foot, 350 pound monster. Very nice, excellent. <laughs> You know, in addition to Commander Shepard, I get to play a lot of aliens in Mass Effect, and I get to, you know, most of the alien races, except for some reason they never cast me as an Asari, so I'm, I'm really looking forward for a ch to, chance to do an Asari's voice. So uh, I think I'm going to use the voice of Gilbert Gottfried. Ah! So you're gonna talk like this, Gilbert! He is very animated when he speaks. He is very animated because he was the parrot in Aladdin. Animation, you get it? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, all right, just like that. Nice. Okay, uh, maybe some DLC is. I'm sorry, Gilbert. Gottfried. 
<laughs> oh, thanks. Yes. This way it will take, uh, we'll sit on the side so it, 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 it actually, yes, the focus will be drawn. To we're it. not here. No, we're no, not. you don't see us. This is, these are the actors in the scene. Correct. So, once again, this is involving making a banana split and uh, perhaps a couch will be involved in some way, shape, or form. Don't know what he's talking about, but I'm going along with it. Oh, well, that's a small couch. <laughs> Here we are, we got a couch. We can sit upon it while we enjoy the lovely banana split that we are going to make. You know, bananas are full of potassium. You need potassium to metabolize minerals and nutrients. If you took a breath, I might be able to get a word in edgewise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. am I talking too much? I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Master of the Banana Split. Okay, all right, I'm going to sit down right now because you're making me very uncomfortable. It's not just your voice, but your face, it's hideous. In the most beautiful of ways, I'm sorry. I'll have you know that I used to be a dancer, an Asari dancer. I worked my way through college that way. That's how I became Dr. Liara DeSoto. Oh, you think you're special. Check out these dance moves. Oh, twists, oh my, oh yes, eh? Um. Okay, I know. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, all right, I made the right choice. You're clearly the best person to make a banana split with. So how do we begin? Well, first of all, we need the ice cream and I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking we should have blueberry. <laughs> oh, blueberry! That is a racist comment, thank you very much. Ah, great. Well, you could have said blueberry, sure. Get another Count Chocula in here. That's what you're dressed as. Well, actually, I do a blueberry impression. Would you like to hear it? Uh, all right, sure, yeah, I like impressions. I'm blueberry. Where's Count Chocula? <laughs> okay, that was racist, but funny. All right, good. Good. Very good. Okay, right. Transylvania. Okay. Fair All right. Enough. So let's scoop because we've got the bin of ice cream in front of us. Okay. I've got a scoop to my right. It's big. I'm pulling it out of the drawer. It's heavy. I can tell it's very heavy. Oh, oh my. It looks like the blueberry and the peach meringue just got together and made an ice cream baby. Oh, well, okay, fair enough. But I'm gonna use my biotic powers to scoop the ice cream. Check this out. Jedi's got nothing on me, huh? huh? There you go. Here's your scoop, and I will drop it on the dish like so. Oh! Unbelievable. You know, I think this is going very well. We should open up a shop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God! We forgot the banana! The banana is the very foundation of the banana split. We've got backwards. There's ice cream on the bottom. What is it? Cats sleeping with dogs? What's going on here? I know where they are. I forgot, but I remembered. Look under the couch. Under the couch? Under the what? couch. Oh, there they are. Grab them now. Hurry. Before the ice cream melts. Oh, look at these bananas. They spent so much time under the couch. They turned, they got spots on them. They're all soft. I don't know if this is going to be good for a banana split. Well, the thing is, it turns into lysergic acid, so it will make customers come back forever and ever. <laughs> okay, I, I buy that. That sounds scientific, and I am a doctor. All right. Okay, all right. So get that. We're going to have to lift. I'll use my biotics to lift, levitate the ice cream out of the dish. You get the banana in there. Just slip the banana in. Slip the banana in. You know how to do that. You're in that data game. Feel the banana. Slipping the banana. Making the banana split. It's wonderful. Okay, all right, and gently I lower the ice cream. Okay, oh, there we like... go. All right, it's coming. Ah, oh, I got, my cream is all over your banana. It's okay, fine. go. This is that sounded rude, but it was about food, so it's fine. It's a wonderful creation. It's almost like a monster. Look, let's add some electricity to it. We need heat. Heat, I tell you. A hot fudge? Hot fudge is hot. That will provide heat. Oh, yes. We have the fudge. To your left, look to your left, there's the fudge. Oh, I'll bring the fudge over here. Pull the bring fudge. That fudge. I'll get you fudge. I'll lift in the fudge. Uh, it's like zero gravity fudge. Here you go. I was in a movie. Oh. All right, here we go. We're packing the fudge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you've gone too far. Now you don't bring your game into it. Now, come on. Come on. 
Yeah. We have to concentrate here. We are gonna make a dessert. We're gonna sit on that couch and eat it. All right, let's do it together. Hold my left hand. So I will. Hold my right hand. I will hold your right hand. I'll hold both of your hands and both of mine. All right, let's look at the ice cream together. All Just right. Look at the ice cream. Let's look at it. We'll use our eyes to look at it. Stay okay. at it. We're going to unite as one or twins using our power to make it the most unbelievable banana split as I've been known to man. All right, calm down, calm down. Listen, listen. You have been a great help today. <laughs> Together, the two of let me gently caress your cheek. Uh, you are my dream daddy. <laughs> you! And together we have made a banana split. Of course we have. But look at the state of the couch. Oh, well, you know there's always goodwill. <laughs> and we'll end that there. Thank you very much. Broadway. <laughs> Never have I been so enthralled watching a banana split being created by an alien and a goth dad. Next up, we have a fun game called Accent Roller Coaster. So we're really going to put these uh, voice actors in their paces today, I think. You guys prepared? We're going we're gonna to get a bunch of accents from you guys and some characters like you know, Gilbert Gottfried and all that. And they are going to act out a scene switching accent over and over at my command as they continue throughout that. Would you like to add anything else, Mark? Uh, sure, yeah, okay, so we'll start off with accents, I think, and then uh, possibly, uh, well, we, I mean, we saw Gilbert Gottfried and Gil Gene Wilder in the last scene. Are there any other uh, folks that you might like to see in this scene? Uh, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, yeah. sure. Uh, how about uh, uh, Woody Allen? Woody Allen, sure. I, I do a Hunter S. Thompson. Johnny Depp and Fear and Loathing. Yes. Uh, Doc Brown, perhaps from back. Doc Brown. Sure. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Uh, I do. I do Paul Lind. I love Paul Lind. Yes, and he's uh, he's the basis for Roger the Alien. Uh, that's American Dad. Let's do uh, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Sir Paul. Nice. Okay, so we got a, we got a few impressions thrown into the accents, but maybe we'll get like the accents uh, from the crowd. Yeah, like some different countries. German. German, Mexican, I don't know, I heard Russian, Russian. Puerto Rican, South And actually, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, divide, divide the English. Let's go uh, Cockney. And uh, maybe English Posh. Yes. And they did say Southwestern, so we get a little American. Yeah, oh, Western. Yeah, Southwestern. Yeah, South South West. West. South I'm Canadian, so I'll do my best. Yeah. Canadian. Oh, Canadian? Alright, can you do Canadian? <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, I'll do Canadian. Okay, we'll try. We'll try, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, the characters we mentioned, Doc Brown. Do you have Hunter Thompson? I think we got Mexican. We got Mexican. 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 What were other uh, impressions that we were talking about? Oh, Shat, Shat, I'm going to do Shat, Shat, I'll do a big show, Shat off. And we have Woody Allen. Jack Sparrow or Dudley Jack Moore. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Dudley Moore, Arthur, Dudley Moore, and Jack Sparrow are very similar. <laughs> Actually, they both have terrible alcohol problems. That's right. Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, is great. Donald Trump. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest because every, this is true. I do impressions. That's the one impression I don't do because everyone else does him. But if you do him, that's ah. right. <laughs> I will do Bill. I'll see what I can do. I'll do Bill Clinton instead. Okay. All right. okay. Okay. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> okay, Stephen Hawking's voice machine. Sure. Yeah. Robert De Niro. Bernie Sanders. Okay, I think we Cute so, anime uh, girls. This, why don't we get a typical scene? Uh, we, we had a scene, sort of a domestic scene, earlier. What is a what is a hobby that someone might have? Maybe horseback riding. Yeah, cocaine and cosplay. <laughs> I heard I heard of horseback riding. Oh, very different. It's horseback riding. All right. So this will be a scene involving horseback riding in some way. Uh, we'll start off neutral, and uh, we'll let you call in uh, our accents and whatnot. And then, you know, maybe. Uh, we might even end up uh, spurring each other to do other, other uh, things. We'll see. But we'll rely on you. Let's start. Thank you very much. So this is horseback. 
Uh, hello, you're here for the horseback. Well, I am. Uh, I don't like to brag, but I'm a champion. A champion, excellent. And uh, what sort of equestrian experience do you have? Riding all kinds of horses. Uh, yes, well, your story checks out right this way. Thank you. Now, these are the stables, of course. This is where the, the horses are fed and yes. watered. And of course, uh, this is where the horses sleep as well. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, Dwell, my yeah? See? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sleepy. I'm so tired. You know, that's hey, hey, hey. hey, I like you, I like you. Huh? You know why? Because you're the horse. That's right, man, you know? I know the horse and the horses. Yeah, do you ride that bear back? Oh, no. oh. I'll do you as a set. But the thing is, I know as a gentleman that I would use a set. I have gone there back before, right? And a gentleman with his legs are spread appropriately. But you see, my daughter and my wife and my mother all have to go side saddle. Oh, yes, that's absolutely proper for a lady. Yeah, but you sit side saddle, do you? I will when I wish to avoid the bruising of my genitals. Yes. Do <laughs> it. Yes. I can tell that your berries hadn't been bruised. Yes, yes, well. Well, one must not get spots on one banana. Yes, yes, yes. Right this way, sir. Yes, let's go. Now, as you can see, this is a fine... German. ...specimen of a horse, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> This horse is wonderful. Yeah, this horse is genetically pure. It is, yeah. Oh, I see it. It's pure. It's, yeah. yeah, so, please oh. step towards the horse. And mount the horse if you will. You must. Yeah, you must mount the horse. Yeah, after you, my friend. I will hold on a little bit on my boots. Yeah, you do. Oh, I heard of two bells. <laughs> Okay, well, you're gonna need some uh, boots with more weatherproof in than that, eh? Oh, sure, yeah. Because okay. uh, those boots, they're gonna be a bunch good at minus 30, you know? No, you're right. Um, that's minus 30 uh, Celsius rather than Fahrenheit, then. Sure, of course I understand, because I'm Canadian. Yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> For, hey, I picked you up some Tim Hortons. I was just gonna ask about that. Yeah, you know, you know well, Timmy's in you before you go out on horseback, you know, because it's pretty cold out there. We got uh, minus 30, like I said, but with the wind chill, it's gonna be down to minus 45 at least. So we gotta put on our toques. Oh, yeah, I've got to put on our toques, eh? Or as the whole caps is the American okay. say. Right, right. I like your hat. It's nice. Right, it's very nice. It's not nice. 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 It looks like I know you stole it, you dirty bugger. I did, I did, I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh, oh, pinched it, I did. I pinched it. You right. it. Right, now get on the horse. Hang on a second. Let's see what you can do. Right now, it's just right. like you got the horse on your hat riding the other horse. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let, let me ask you something. Can I ask you something? What? I, I want to I wanna ask you something. Ask me something. All right. Can I ask you something? I would love you to ask me. Christopher Walken. The question is, should we ride the horse together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to see me ride it? Alone. You know, I don't care what you do or don't do. This is a terrible Christopher Walken. <laughs> Actually, it's a great Al Pacino. Oh, it's a good. I'm a little darky! I'm a little darky! Just what I think about! They call me back in! No! That's why you're in charge of the stables, because I'm crazy. I, I dance all the time. You think you're crazy? You think you're crazy? I'm going crazy over here. I'm going, you know who's driving me? You're not driving me crazy. You're out of order. What are you out? You know, yeah, I'm out of order. Wait, wait, no, I'm out. When, when we break fans. Well, you do what nature does best. Ride off into the sunset. Ah, sunset. <laughs> then sun goes supernova. <laughs> then Carl Sagan comes in. <laughs> ah, Carl Sagan. They yes. say there are billions and billions of stars. That's right. For the star where Fortune comes from, very much like Stephen King. Carl Sagan. <laughs> As a billions and billions of stars. <laughs> billions of stars. Oh my god. I see the, the supernova that has been spoken about. So that we are all stars. All of the molecules of our body were once the material of stars themselves. Stardust and star children. Yeah, it's true. You know what we should do right now? The closer we get to the stars is by getting up higher. So why don't we both get high? <laughs> All I know is I'm supposed to make my butt mouth like a tiny little butthole. That's what it is. Well, you know, I think it's funny about you, Donald. Is that you? Well, well.
There's nothing funny about you. <laughs> Take news! Take news! Right, me Fake down. news media! Right, right. You know, you're just like Hillary, Chelsea, Taylor. Hillary, lock her up! Lock her up! <laughs> you know, you're crazy. I love you. I can't quit you. <laughs> Chopper! Look, there is it. We gotta get on those goddamn horses. Wait, what's good, Billy? So spooked. The horses? Yeah, the, the horses, yeah. Of we course. came here to ride a horse. No. We have we been talking about everything except riding a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm getting on one now. You can ride the horse. Oh! Chopper, the this horse. We gotta go back to now. That feels good, doesn't it? I don't know. Doc, I don't know what the visuals of this are going to be like. This is supposed to be a family show. I know, but you remember what I think I'm just doing Morty, actually, at this point. <laughs> I told you, because in the third installment of Back to the Future, we were in the Wild West, as everybody knows, and it was trash. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Hold on. In one moment, we're going to be in a DeLorean, and everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Jeez, Doc, I mean... I'm still just doing Morty, but that's okay, because it's based on Marty and Doc. <laughs> Doc! Doc! Marty, here we are, in Phoenix. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Phoenix, what, what are we gonna do here, Doc? Oh, there's all things we can do. We can cosplay. Marty, it's something to do in the future, like dress up as the favorite characters. It's like Halloween, but... All weekend long. Oh, jeez, that sounds awful. Uh, well, sometimes boys are more girls, and sometimes girls are boys. If that's what you're into, Marty, it's going to be a Mardi Gras. Oh, <laughs> well, bang, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm listening. I need you for the team. I need you aboard the Normandy. Okay. What's more, the galaxy needs you. The threat of the Reapers is real. Don't fear the Reaper. <laughs> oh, I don't fear the Reaper. I hate the Reapers. Mm, hate is a strong word. My mother always told me, dislike very much, but don't hate. Yes, but hate can make you stronger if you follow the dark side or the renegade path. <laughs> The renegade you had it made. Yes, it sticks. <laughs> I made that reference. I thought you were making a reference to that old Lorenzo Lama series, Renegade. Oh. <laughs> Who doesn't love Lorenzo Lama? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Probably everyone in this room, they were born long after that series was out. Here. <laughs> it's true, but I mean, who does not love this kind of accent, huh? Shepard? You know, let me tell you something about the Shepard boy. I used to spank him. <laughs> that way he knew discipline, that way he got in line, that way he knew how to mount a horse correctly. That's why he became the owner of the stables. That's why he gave me the finest black stallion I ever had. Tell me more of this black stallion, because I think we are both doing your Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> Tell me, here on this island, does your every fantasy come true? Yes, boss. It's true. I get to go off with the girl in the blue dress. <laughs> Tattoo. That girl is out of your league. Well, maybe height-wise. But you never know what I have below the belt, boss. Ah, uh, Tattoo. The problem is, Fantasy Island was off the air before anyone was born in this room. But I still love you, boss. No, no, I don't. I 